Hey everybody, did you know you could go to ColinMullen.com in order to get art and art prints? That's why I set up the website, ColinMullen.com. So hey everybody, I've, I'm doing more of these woodblock things. We've got several in succession and it's in kind of a weird staggered order, just because that's how I ended up painting them. Uh, there's three of them here and I think half of them I ended up uh, doing the painting and then like forgetting to turn on the camera so I apologize for that but hey uh here they are um they're for a local like toy store is doing like a gallery thing it's it's not a big deal it's just a thing that I was like you know what this is a project to work on uh no no excuses on like not being able to think of things like this is a place that I could go to put my artwork up um so I'll give it a go I don't know if I'll get it but I'll give it a go right Anyway, let's talk about this week's thing, the thing that this video is titled on. Um, so I was streaming the other day and I was asking my chat because I couldn't think of something to talk about for Arcade. What, what do you guys want me to talk about? And someone mentioned that they um, don't like using up their paint, that they're you know hesitant to use their paint because they're worried about using it. Um, like misusing it, I think is the thing. And, and part of this is economics. I'll, I'll just say that, like, depending on where you are at, like, economically, depends on how much this matters to you. Because, like, if you're working a minimum wage job, that could be, like, two hours of work to get some, like, blue or something. Like, those are more expensive colors. Like, you could easily run up into the, like, $15 range, and you're starting to have issues being able to afford that. And so when you, you think about it that way, it, yeah, it makes sense. Um, you know, luckily I got patreon.com slash scarecrow and the people who support me on there who help me uh, be able to afford the supplies that I need to have to be able to do these videos. Um, but, you know, let, let's extract maybe the, the price thing a little bit from this. But I do have to mention that, that that is very much a part of this question, I think, for a lot of people is that this is expensive, this is precious, and it has to be used right. You know whatever that means and here's the deal um paint supplies just go bad after time so you're kind of wasting it anyway if you don't use it right so you might as well use it i'm just gonna run through some like logical things you can do to get around this corner i also find that when you have this idea that you don't want to waste a canvas you don't want to waste a page on your sketchbook or whatever um that you you hold yourself back you're like man you know i could do such and such and that would make this better but i could totally screw it up if i did that and I, I mean like there's no control z on physical work you know you don't have that luxury that computer users have so like if you screw it up you've got to go back and fix it somehow and so it's like oh, man you know like i i i don't want to use up more paint just trying to make this look good when it already looks okay like it's a seven out of ten it could be a ten out of ten if i do this thing but like but to me what i think is that 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 dilemma right there is all the more reason to do it because like yeah if you think you can get a 10 out of 10 painting out of it if you or even just one point better in your own scale on you know just a better painting a better drawing just by you know using up your supplies i say go for it because you currently have misused your paint if it's a 7 out of 10 painting but it could be a 10 out of 10 like that that's saving you that paint that you've already put on there um also i think that just like part of learning to paint part of learning you know any of this is using your supplies and and just not treating it as the super precious thing that has to be saved for the perfect inspiration the perfect moment um you can always paint over a canvas the more you hold yourself back the less you learn and the less you learn per like whatever of paint is is paint that's wasted if you could learn more by spending just maybe a little bit more paint then you've actually improved the quality of all of the paint for you as an artist like you've you've become a better artist as a result and that means that the next tube of paint will have better value you know you, you've used it more efficiently at some point you need to start thinking of your tools as tools I don't think that you're like, oh man, I'm not gonna get the hammer out of the closet because like, you know, I wanna wait for a perfect nail to, to you know, put into the wall. We're, we're gonna we're gonna hold off on that for now. Like, I don't wanna use up the, the hammer's supply. Like, it, it, it could break or it could get dented and I, I don't wanna do that. Like, that's a ridiculous thing to say, but like people do that with their paint supplies, with their, you know, stuff that they're working with. 
And like, no, you just need to see it as a tool that is used to express whatever you're going to express to do the thing that you're trying to do, whatever that happens to be. Hopefully one of these logical arguments worked for you, but um, I I've done another video about this kind of concept of like stepping away from treating everything you do as super perfect, super precious, that you can't, you know, use the supply because if you use it wrong, I mean, man, you you've wasted it. Um, I I've done a video about that to some degree and I'll go ahead and link it at the end here, but you know, going back to that first bit I said about economics, I want to thank the people at patreon.com slash revscarecrew. Starting with my mom and dad. I love you. Thank you. View. Uh, thank you, Wap Boo. Thank you, Toe Foundor. Thank you, Tiffany. Thank you, Skella Corgi. Thank you, Sanja R. Thank you, Reverend Joe. Thank you, Retrograde. Thank you, Rachel Gibson. Thank you, Mortis. Thank you, Maliciousness. Thank you, Lost Nevada. Thank you, LOL. Thank you, Kayla Hollinger. Thank you, Gala. Thank you, Gabriel Bennett. Thank you, Egg. Thank you, Dragon. Thank you, Chiptoon Glitch. Thank you, Bungle Paws. Thank you, Blake. Thank you, Bep. Thank you, BD648. Thank you, Amber. Thank you, Acrobus. And thank you, Ads! <laughs> uh, anyway, thank you all. If you have any questions that you want me to cover, things that you worry about as an artist, things that you'd like to know more about as an artist, let me know, and I'll try and do a video on it. Um, all the same, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you in the next one. You guys are great.